I recently did a video testing eyeliners to see if they would work in the tight line or the water line. Apparently, nobody's done a video like this because I kept getting these comments saying, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for doing this video. I have looked for so long. I also got some other comments and some suggestions. So this video is addressing some of the comments and also looking into some more eyeliners that you guys said were amazing. I put them to the test. Now I know most of you are here to find out which ones really did work and which ones didn't based on your suggestions. So I'm going to address the comments and the questions and the suggestions and things like that at the end of this video. And if you want to see that, you can fast forward to that. I'll put a timestamp right here. But let's get into all the different eyeliners. And I will tell you right off the bat, I found another one that was just as good as the first one I showed you in my original video. First, on my right, the LA Girl Ultimate Eye Intense Stay Auto Liner. Now this was in the color Lasting Brown. This one applied really easily and it applied pretty dark. On the left, based on your suggestions, and a lot of you said this one, I bought the Pacifica. This is a vegan waterproof eyeliner. It is in the color Fringe, also known as brown. This one also applied very easily and it applied dark. So I had high hopes for both of these eyeliners. Okay, I look kind of like a train wreck because I just got back from the gym, but I just wanted to pop in here quick and say that you guys never suggested Pacifica. None of you. At least I don't remember seeing that. I went through and was grabbing some of the screenshots for what I've put in the video. Many of you suggested Persona, and somehow I got it in my brain that you said Pacifica. <laughs> so now we know about Pacifica, or you're about to know. I will do a Persona. I'll get one of the eyeliners from them and test it out in an upcoming Get Ready With Me. I just wanted to clarify that in case some of you are like, I don't see any suggestion about Pacifica. <laughs> I don't know what my brain was doing. So here's Pacifica. So I tested this for the entire day, but I also did some check-ins in the middle of the day. This one, it definitely went down to the bottom. There is a tiny bit left on, right along the hairline or the lash line but predominantly it's gone. This one has a tiny bit of fallout, but not much, not fallout, transfer. And it's predominantly there. So, so far so good. I'll check in at the end of the day. At the end of the day check-in, the LA Girl, which again was on my right, transferred down a little bit and it did go away a lot, but it was still there right along my lash line, right along the hairs. So I wasn't too disappointed with the LA Girl. The Pacifica did not fare as well. It transferred down completely and it was almost completely gone. So for me, the Pacifica was definitely a never again. The next day, we tried another LA Girl because they have a few different types and you guys suggested these both of these types. So on the right again was the LA Girl Perfect Precision and in the color brown. On the left was a brand called Molly. I guess that's how you say it, Molly or Mally. Oh, oh. okay, really light. This is called Evercolor Gel and it is waterproof. It was in the color Hazelnut. Both of these applied easily and they applied dark. Okay, I'm in the middle of painting or sanding today, so I'm kind of a little train wreck, but in the name of science, we still had to go on. <laughs> now this one, major transfer. You can still see some of it, but pretty much looks like I put it on my lower lid which I did not. No transfer, and look how much is on it. It's doing very good. So, so far the LA is, uh-uh. The Mali is doing pretty good. Those of you who suggested this one, it's going good so far. Technically it is not the end of the day, but I have been sanding black paint for hours. I'm covered in paint chips. 
actually I think there's some on my nose right there yep my nails oh my gosh from me sanding and getting in there there I'm a train wreck I'm a mess how am I supposed to film with nails that look like this <laughs> Anyways, back to the eyeliner. The LA Girl, dreadful. I didn't take any of it off. As you can see, it's very much on my lower lid. The upper is actually not that bad. There's still some there. The Mally, the bottom did transfer a bit. You can see it right there. And the top has some left. It's mostly left over here, but not on the far left. So I would say it's not a train wreck but it's not wonderful. To me, it's not. Next was another one that many of you said, I feel guilty because I kind of write off Alme. And shame on me, I do need to try out more Alme products. So I'm glad many of you suggested it. So I bought the Alme All Day, and this is in the black brown. Then on the left, another one that many of you said is from Julep Beauty. This is an all-day waterproof eyeliner, and I got it in the color Rich Brown. All right, on the left side was the julep, and I will say that this is almost completely gone at the half-day mark. At one point, I did look, and almost all of it was right down on my lower lid. At this point, it's almost all off. I will say that it is very much there right along my lash line, so at that point, if that's all you're going for, this actually did go well, and I would just make sure that you keep it really close to the lash line because it will transfer down. It still might transfer down even if you do that. So I am going to wipe off what I have, and I will say that my mascara is also not doing well. I'll see how it does from this point forward. Maybe if that's all you're looking for, maybe this one will be good for you. The right one is the Alme one. That one did transfer a bit down on my lower. My upper is actually pretty good. I mean, I wouldn't say it's all there, but it's definitely better than the Julep one. I will say that it's only on the middle portion, not on the far right and on the far left. So it's transferred or gone away every other place on my tight line. It is only four o'clock, but I'm going to call this now because I just looked and sadly, neither of them. The Julep Beauty one transferred completely down to my waterline and it was almost completely gone off of my lash line. Wah, wah, wah. But the All May one was doing pretty good at the half day mark. But as I said before, it was on the both corners. It wasn't doing well. At this point, almost all of it is gone. You can see a tiny bit, but certainly not the entire eye. This one wasn't that bad though. Like it lasted quite a few hours. So if you have this one and you want a tight line, I would say if you don't have an all day event, it's not gonna be something like a wedding where you're like, it's gotta last, I gotta look good the entire day, then I would say go ahead and try it. But if you want something that's going to last all, all day, this one for me did not last. Again, it might work for you, but it didn't work for me. Okay, next came ELF. A few of you said, how could you not test ELF? And I don't know why I didn't. So obviously I went and grabbed ELF. This is the ELF No Budge, and I bought it in the color Coffee Cake. It's kind of light. This might not be a good one for the waterline just because of, it just goes on so light. Let's try again, let it dry down a little bit. I feel like I'm just rubbing and rubbing, it doesn't come off. It's pretty much as dark as I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna just get it warmed up a little bit on my hand because it is pretty dark. Maybe I just need to get it started. Maybe it's an older eyeliner, it's been sitting on the shelf and I wouldn't know that. Let's get it started a little bit. Okay, <laughs> rubbed it quite a bit, let's try again. If you want your waterline to be a lighter brown, then the e.l.f. one will be a good choice for you. But usually you want something a little darker than that. So it's not, it's not too good right now. That was on the right. On the left, I tried a brand that I really have not tested out either. It's Rimmel London. And they have one called Scandal Eyes 24 Hour Waterproof Gel in the color brown. 
way darker than the elf. That one went on much better. I'm going to try again with the elf. Oh, my mirror is in your way. And do it the way I just did. Sometimes you just need the friction of your eyelashes to deposit a little more. You know what I mean? Now, <laughs> it didn't do any more. But who knows if it stays on, but it's a lighter brown, that might be the look that you're looking for. So let's just see if they stay on all day. Okay, I will just have to tell you that I missed the half day mark. Somehow it just totally went out of my head. I never checked in. But we wanna see if it's going to last an, an entire day. So I did remember the end of the day. The elf is pretty much gone. It's a tiny bit there, but it's pretty much gone, which I kind of thought was gonna happen based on how it went on. The Rimmel Scandalize, that one actually did a little bit better. You can see it's still on there. It didn't transfer down too much. I think it did a little bit and I actually wiped it off throughout the day just by like itching my eye or something, but it actually did okay. Next came my last two and then we will get into some things that you guys wanted to let me know and some suggestions. So on the right was one that I had never heard of this brand. It's called Clio. A few of you suggested, or maybe it was only one of you suggested, this one is called Clio Sharp So Simple Waterproof. And I got it in the color brown. On my left was the only high-end one that many of you suggested. And this is from Urban Decay, which is definitely high-end. And it is their 24-7 glide on, waterproof, long lasting, and I got it in the color whiskey. Now I will tell you that a lot of these, I almost bought the wrong one, have a shimmer to it, which I don't want in my waterline. You may want it, I didn't. So I almost bought one and then I was just looking at it on my hand. I was literally at the register ready to pay and I went, is there a glimmer to this? And the lady at the register is like, yes, this is at Ulta. And I'm like, okay, wait, I don't want that. And I went back and tried on some more brown and the whiskey does not have a shimmer to it. So I was happy to find that. Sadly, I lost my footage of my original application of putting this on. I don't know how that happened. I cannot find it anywhere. I do have the half day and the end of the day check-in. I will say that both the Clio and Urban Decay went on very easily and they went on dark. So I was very thrilled with the actual application. These have been on my eyes for several hours. So I just checked. The Urban Decay one is, lift it up, is pretty good. Like I wouldn't call it amazing, but I would say it's pretty good. It's definitely wearing off on the edges and it definitely transferred down. So that I'm not real happy with. The Clio, nothing transferred down onto the bottom. The top is way better. Like it's actually almost as good as when I first put it on. So right now this one is definitely doing better than the very expensive Urban Decay one. Again, remember this is on my eyes, it might work differently on your eyes, but so far this one's doing better. All right, it is almost seven o'clock and I'm gonna go wash my face. So I just checked and the Urban Decay side, um, I actually didn't look on the bottom again. Okay, yes, it's continuing to gather on the bottom or collect on the bottom. The top is there, but only about halfway there. The, I keep forgetting the name of this, Cleo. <laughs> this one? is doing really well. It never went on the bottom lashes or bottom waterline at all. The top of it, it's almost completely there. The Clio far surpassed the Urban Decay, which is good because it's a lot less money. So then I decided to compare the Milani, which is my number one pick from my previous video, to the Clio, and do they actually stack up to each other? On my right will be the Milani that you all know I think is amazing. And on the left is going to be this Clio that seemed to work just as good. So let's see which one does better. Okay. The Milani is definitely darker. They're both almost completely on. They're both doing great. 
Okay, it's at the end of the day and I wanted to do my final check-in for these two eyeliners. They're identical. So the Milani, definitely still there and the, <laughs> I cannot remember the name of this thing, Cleo. <laughs> is also still there. One thing I like about the Milani one is it does have this extra thing at the bottom and it's just this little sponge. So if you want to take it and put it on your eye and then smudge it out, like if you're not using it on your waterline and you want to make it more of a smudged look, well I already smudged it, it will, so if you want to smudge it, like if you want an actual eyeliner, not a tight line, I like that it has this little added thing to it. But then it does dry down and it stays put all day. They both self-sharpen, so you don't have to get a sharpener, you just wind them both up and they both self-sharpen. So that's also a good thing. And they cost about the same. Okay, so on to some of the comments that some of you said and some suggestions. Number one, I got some comments that were basically saying, how in the world do you think it is good for you to put eyeliner in your tight line and on your waterline? That is so dangerous. I had a few say that to me. Here's the thing. I actually agree to a point. Some of you went a little over the top, but I do actually agree that putting eyeliner in your waterline on a consistent basis could potentially be harmful to your eyes. If that does bother your eyes, then you need to stop. I am not an ophthalmologist. I am not a dermatologist. I just am someone who likes to have that look periodically. I do not do this on my eyes on a consistent basis. In fact, I do it only once in a great while. It's kind of more of like a nighttime look for me, or if my eyes just seem a little dull, it brings out the white a little bit nicer. So I do like doing it periodically, but I by no means do this on a consistent daily basis. So of course, do this at your own risk, but I also have never had an issue with it either. I had one woman comment <laughs> and she's like, I just watched another very popular YouTuber put eyeliner in her tight line and looked at the comments and not one helpful person made a comment. So I apparently have a lot of very helpful people. So I just thought that was kind of funny tongue in cheek. Again, do it at your own risk. Don't come at me. I'm not advocating that you have to do this. I know that some of you do this and would like it to stay put. That is why I did the video. Not to say that everyone needs to do this in their tight line. The other thing I will say is we are all so very different. Clearly, I just did all of your suggestions and some of them did not work for me, but you guys all swear by it, those of you who suggested them. That's wonderful. So if you have found one that works for you, please, it's obviously working for you, it's great. Some of you said, I tried the Milani, it didn't work. I totally understand that. Some work for some and some do not work for others. We all have different levels of water, uh, oil on our eyes, it's all different find the one that works. That is why I did this because I wanted to test the different ones for me and hopefully give you guys options. A few of you said that you had a hard time getting it off your eyes at the end of the day to wash it off so it wouldn't all come off. Here is my suggestion. I like a cleansing balm to get rid of all of my makeup. This is my favorite, but if you have another one that works for you, obviously just use the one that works for you. I think it comes off just great. Just put it on your eyes and just rubbing your eyes. Do it gently. This is not something you have to do hard and then washing is normal and then going in with a double cleanse because again, that's just getting the makeup off. If you're still having a problem, this is what you can, I can also suggest, is take a Q-tip, dip it into your cleansing balm a little bit, and then just rub this right along your lash line, just like you were putting on the eyeliner. Take it off the same way. Then go in and wash your makeup off like you normally would. That'll just get the eyeliner in a head start to get it cleaned off. The other suggestion I would have, and some of you even suggested this, and I think this is brilliant. 
If you tend to have a little bit more oil or water on your lash line, then take another Q-tip, obviously not the same one, and before you apply your eyeliner, take this and just rub it along your eye line to just kind of remove some of those oils or the water. Try not to blink and then go in with your eyeliner right away. That may extend the life. And again, some of you don't need to do that, but some of you, it might be something that you could try. When I apply my eyeliner, I like to do it after I've done my eye makeup, like it's all on, mas mascara, everything's on, and then I go in with the tight line. When I do that, obviously I'm putting my finger on my makeup and it could remove the makeup. So if you have that problem, use a Q-tip and you can just take the Q-tip and that will lift your eye and the Q-tip will have maybe a little bit on it, but it won't have the oils from your fingers that will remove some of the makeup. So that's another tip for application. Instead of taking the eyeliner and doing the entire eye line, or the entire waterline, I should say, do it very close to the lash line and don't do the entire eye line. Some of you may like that and some of you may not, but that's just an option. It will last longer the closer it is to your lash line instead of the entire waterline. So I'm gonna go ahead and link my first eyeliner video I did here. I'm gonna link another video right here which is a vi videos that I do called Yahoo's and Boo's. And these are some of the products that I have been using for a while that I loved and some that did not work out so well for me. So I'll see you in one of those or another one. God bless.